Good morning, everyone. This is Angela Johnson Ayers again here with Life Cannot Wait and Confessions of Mommy. I know I'm not looking that glamorous today. I um, uh, dropped the kids off to school and then I um, went to the Walmart. And now I'm going to try to hit that gym. But I wanted to talk to moms about money saving tips because every penny counts, okay? And since I've become a stay-at-home mom nine and a half years ago, and on one income, my husband working, um, I have learned so many ways to, to save money. So I just want to throw out different ones to you now, okay? One way to save money, excuse me if you hear me, of course, I'm, I'm always too high. But one way to save money is to download certain apps, okay? Now. I am not a big proponent of fast food places and I'm not telling you to take your kids to these fast food places every day. But the reality is not most of us are going to visit a fast food <clears throat> place. Especially if you have kids like I do who just love like <clears throat> french fries. <laughs> so if you download, I'm going to give you an example. If you download the McDonald's app, they have some amazing deals like buy they have like free fry Friday or buy one breakfast sandwich get one free you know and this comes in handy I'm telling you or if you buy um, a, a sandwich a breakfast sandwich you get them a cafe drink free download the apps to not just McDonald's but any of these stores that you may frequent because not only do they send you a lot of times a lot of discounts but they also will give you um, coupon coupons it's just amazing so download apps. That's my first money-saving tip. My second one is, if you have, if you're a crafter or your kids love to do crafts, and so you you go to stores like Michaels, AC Moore, Hobby Lobby, they too will send you coupons, 50% off of of um, your original price or something like Hobby Lobby always has that 40% off of an item. Um, and I'm telling you, again, that's another way to save money. Now, you might be saying, but I just don't have time. You got to make the time, you all. When you're sitting there, you know, watching TV or something, snip, go through, go online and just look at these coupons before you go into a store and make it fun. I've made it a lesson with my kids where I'm like, okay, guys, let's go through on the computer and see which craft store has what uh, uh, coupons this week. Like sometimes I know Michaels and AC Moore they'll give you 20% off your entire purchase at times. And we make it a game and I say, okay, now look, you all said you wanted some Play-Doh, you said you wanted some paint, let's go to the store that has the discount. And not only are you saving money, but you're teaching children money saving lessons and that they need, they need to learn as well. Teach them that money doesn't grow on trees and how to be frugal and wise. Another, a third way um, to saving money, the first one is downloading apps the second one was try to find stores that have different coupons and use those coupons. Join their rewards programs. The next one is, um, what was I going to say? Oh my goodness. I got so many of them in my head. I'm thinking so fast. The third one is, um, oh my goodness. I, I went blank that fast. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so we have the coupons. We have that um, thrift stores. It's another thing. Um, it is okay, guys, to shop at a thrift store and get certain items. Um, you will be amazed how many things you can find in thrift stores. Some thrift stores is just a bunch of junk, but you can always find something. For example, my children are growing like crazy. I'm not spending a whole lot of money on certain shirts or pants that they're going to wear to school and get dirty and grimy. So I go to the thrift store and I buy them some. And let's say like my little one, the, fi the, the, the five year old, she's tall and really thin. So even though she may wear like a six X, I'll still buy them and I stitch them in the waist. So you gotta be creative. You gotta know how to make the most out of your situation. And, um, and I'm telling you, these are all teachable moments. It all sh shows and teaches your children lessons, you know? Um, another way to save money is they have a lot, and I'm here at one place right now. I, I, they have bakeries, and they we used to call them back in the day, day-old bakeries, but they're not really day-old. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Where you can go and get bread, same types of bread. Like, we, my family loves nature's own breads. 
in the grocery store, the regular store, it may cost two ninety eight, but here at like the bakery outlet, it only costs um, ninety eight cents, no more than a dollar. So I'm saving. You understand what I'm saying? It makes a difference. Also, when you go, oh, I know the one I really want to remind you all. So let's recap. The first one, download these apps. Particularly a lot of these fast food places, they have great buy one, get one free type of things. The second one is um, utilize these 50% off coupons when you go to like AC More, Hobby Lobby. So many stores have coupons. You might not even know that the store has coupons. I went to, what store was that I went to? Was it Steinmart? Yeah, really nice stuff in Steinmart. I like but some of it can be a little pricey. But I looked online, I was on a checkout counter and I saw this woman using the coupons. So I was like, oh, let me look up. And right there, 40% off coupon off of an item. Always check. I don't care what store you're in, you'll be surprised. The third one is when you're buying breads and little sweets, it's okay to check out some of these nice bakery outlets and just see what they may have. So you don't have to be paying $3 for bread where you can go. And, and a lot of these bakery outlets, like the one I just pulled up to now, um, they have organic breads as well. So it's, it's not just junk food, you understand, junk. The fourth tip I wanna give you is when you get your receipts back, let me see if I have one. Like if you go to Dunkin' Donuts or McDonald's or uh, grocery stores, they'll have something where if, like, if you fill out the survey online, you'll get uh, a free meal or you'll get a free like when you go to restaurants you go to like the other day we went to texas roadhouse and on the receipt if you fill out and do a survey your your next kid's meal is free listen guys i know you all let me tell you a lot of these places bank on the fact that they know you're not going to take the time to do it so much money is being wasted fill out those surveys all you have it only takes a few seconds while you're in the bathroom you know what i'm saying or in the carpool line or you're waiting somewhere, get on that receipt. I, I know at Dunkin' Donuts, if you fill out the survey, they give you a code, you get a free donut with your next coffee. Even now I'm telling you, if you fill out the survey at McDonald's, you get a free sandwich. If you fill out the survey at, at, at Popeye's Chicken, you get a, and again, I'm not just promoting fast food places. These are a lot of places that tell you, if you fill out the survey, you have a chance of winning $1,000, $100, $50, or a certain, it's okay. Fill those things out because I'm telling you, it comes in handy. You'd be surprised. I have told people, I have told other moms, because this one lady, she has maybe five children, and they, they frequent McDonald's a lot. And I was over at her house, and I said, you, do you have the app? She was like, no. I said, you need to download it right now before your family goes to McDonald's. Oh, I don't have the time. I said, it only takes a few seconds. It'll save you crazy money. But that's just, that's my thing, you all. You have to find ways to save money. And again, it's a good lesson to show your children. Because now my kids, they laugh at me. They say, oh, mommy's cheap. Or then they'll say, but mommy's frugal. And I'm like, yeah, but you want to get to Disney World, right? You know, if we save here, we can splurge there. So please take advantage of these things. A lot of con um, companies and businesses bank on the fact that they know consumers are basically lazy and don't want to take the time to fill out the survey or answer the questions. On right, if you go to Rite Aid, they fill out the survey. If you go to CVS, you fill out the survey and you take, it's as simple as one, two, three. You know, um, also even down to like some of the, the beauty supply stores that you go to, if you join their rewards program, after you get a certain point, sometimes they'll give you like $10 cash to use in the store. I'm telling you, ladies, and you know we frequent the beauty supply stores. So why not try to take advantage of that? That's one way. See, these businesses know, they figure if they can give you that um, incentive to come in, you'll spend your money. But the point is, a lot of times you go in these stores and you spend money, but you're not taking advantage of their rewards programs. Another great I'm telling you, if you shop at Sears or Kmart, Sears, if you sign up for their rewards points, you get rewards points, you get rewards cash when you spend a certain amount and they will text you and email you every, whenever you have points. Use those points. They're not gonna always automatically show up. There are times where you're gonna have to tell the cashier, hey, I wanna use my points. And, and they will apply it. So again, you all, download these store apps. Take advantage of these 50% off coupons. Look in the paper, go online, use your coupons. Um, please fill out surveys, you know? Um, 
you you go to somebody's Dayo, I hate to call it Dayo, but bakery outlets that you can find the same type of foods, but a little bit cheaper. I'm gonna back up because I'm a little close, parked close to this vehicle. Even down to buying, getting gas, buying gas. Some of you all like with BJ's or Costco or some of these other places, you can get a little bit cheaper um, gas if you uh, if you are part of their club. You just gotta look and see. Also, a lot of the banks, for example, a lot of the banks like Bank of America, they'll give you cash back on certain purchases, um, but you have to take advantage of that. It just takes time. And as it, and, and and for me, being uh, not rich. <laughs> Be wise. And last but not least, always ask for a discount. You will be amazed how many places have discounts, but people, they don't tell you, they won't advertise it. And um, people are afraid or ashamed to ask. That's crazy. So you have not because you ask not. All someone can tell you is yes or no. I do want to throw in another one, but I'm a, I'm a, we're going to talk about that tomorrow as far as with bills. When you have bills, I don't care if they're medical bills, credit card bills, uh, um, how to how to survive when you have a lot of bills, and how you can talk and how ways to work with these companies to get extensions or how to get a certain fees dropped. I'm telling you, I I know I have the answers. You stick stick in here with me. Look, thank you for joining me. Um, Please feel free to go on my website, www.angelajohnsonairs, that's spelled A-Y-E-R-S dot com. And then you can go on my blog, confessionsofmommy.blogspot.com. Uh, Until next time, be blessed. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.